Hello everyone and welcome back to Sketched Out, a graphic novel commentary. I am really excited to share with you my pick for this month. I actually wanted to start the series with it, but it hadn't come in yet to the library. So without further ado, here it is, Embroideries by Marjane Satrapi. Some of you are familiar with Persepolis, which is Satrapi's best-selling uh, graphic novel memoir uh, that came out in 2000. If you haven't read it, it's definitely worth the read. We do have it at the library, so go check it out. Um, Embroideries was published three years later in 2003, and while I loved Persepolis, it was actually the, the graphic novel that got me into graphic novels. Um, Embroideries is the one that I've read over and over again. So before I go into detail about this book, um, I think you should know a little bit about the author. Marjane Satrapi was born in 1969 in Iran into a modern and aristocratic family. She was raised in Tehran during the Iranian Revolution uh, because of the restrictive nature of the regime and the dangers of the Iraq-Iran War. She was sent to live in Vienna at the age of 14. By herself, her parents stayed in Iran. Um, so she grew up there, and then as a young adult, she came back to Iran, where she was married for a short time, but after her divorce, she moved to France, where she lives to this day. So as you can imagine, uh, Satrapi has a pretty vast wealth of life experiences, um, even just in the span of the 50 short years. Uh, so she's got a really keen understanding of Western colonialism and intervention, uh, religious fanaticism, and feminism. Embroideries is something of a supplement to Persepolis. Um, it takes place in Iran in the drawing room of what I assume is Margie's uh, family home. Um, so a large group of family and friends has just had dinner or a meal and uh, the women have retired to a drawing room to have some tea and gossip um, or as Margie's grandmother calls it, uh, long sessions of ventilations of the heart. Each of these women shares a story or confesses a secret, and they all revolve around love, sex, and the vagaries of men. I should note, uh, even though there are some sort of juicy details, uh, the illustrations themselves don't get particularly graphic. Um, e but either way, I wouldn't recommend this story for children. So, it's difficult for me to explain the feelings I get when I read this book um, because they're often contradictory. It's uh, Each story that the women tells feels relatable, but it's also a completely different culture than I have much experience with. Um, some of the stories are hilariously funny, while others are a bit unnerving, or they are both. Um, but I really think that it says a lot about Satrapi's mastery of the graphic storytelling that in the span of an hour's read, you get a glimpse of the seemingly ordinary afternoon, afternoon tea party and feel such an intimate connection with the characters. I don't want to get into too much more detail than that because I'd really like you to go and check it out. So I'm going to wrap it up. I highly recommend this book. Go check it out and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. So. Thanks for tuning in.